So now that we've learned about um, the concept of Q and we know about the concept of K, I want to show you why we use these values. So let's read this problem and work through it. Hydrogen gas, H2 gas, reacts with fluorine gas, F2 gas. Now I won't do this on a test or quiz, but I'm just having us practice naming right now. So I'm just having you turn these names into to substances to produce hydrofluoric acid gas. HF gas. The equilibrium constant is 1.15 times 10 to the second. Now, now that it mentions equilibrium, I'm gonna go get a double arrow in there because I know this reaction can go in both directions. And I would also wanna balance it. This is gonna play a big part in what we're gonna do here. So we have one mole of H2 reacting with one mole of F2 to produce two moles of HF and then going backwards, two moles of HF can break down into one mole of F2 and one mole of H2. Now here's how we know this is a, an ice table problem, which is we're gonna get into here. Why don't we just write that on the top? All of this is gonna be using ice tables. If two moles of each gas are added to a one liter container, what will be the equilibrium concentrations? So there we go. Whenever a problem talks about what are the equilibrium concentrations, I want you to be thinking if we're not given any of those values, we're probably gonna be doing an ice table. So we're gonna turn the right now, the Q, into the equilibrium values K. So let's get a little table here, and I always do it right under my chemical reaction. I kind of make a column for each substance. So I have two HF, F2 and H2, and then we get the little acronym ICE here on the left-hand side. We'll fill in our table. So the I in ICE stands for initial concentration. The C stands for change in concentration, and the E stands for equilibrium concentration. So to work through this problem, we, we should always be able to fill in these initial concentrations from the stem of the problem here. So it says two moles of each gas are added to a two liter, a one liter container. So we just know that two divided by one is two molar. So each gas implies all gases. So I'm gonna say, and I guess this would really be 2.0 molar. So here's our initials, two, two, and two. So how do we know what's gonna happen? Now, once you get the I set up, I want you to ask yourself, what do you think's gonna happen? So to find out what's gonna happen, we're gonna set these up in our Q value, and Q equals concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants. Now our products are HF squared, so that would be two squared, and our reactants are two molar times two. So now two squared over two times two equals one. So now Q is one, and the K value, which is usually written in the problem here, is 1.15 times 10 to the two. That means it's 115. I'm just gonna write it like this and get it out of scientific notation so I can kind of visualize it a little better. So now, what's gonna happen? Well, to find out what's gonna happen, we need to figure out which is larger, Q or K. Now, as we practiced in the last video, when K is larger, this reactant needs to shift to the right to favor the forward reaction to make more products and get that, that ratio higher. So we're gonna to shift to the right. So that means we are gonna be making more HF. So that means this is gonna go up. So whatever direction you're going, so we're going this way, means we're gonna be making this, so this is gonna be a positive value. Now what's the coefficient here before the HF? It's a two there. Now that means this is gonna go up by a factor of two X. And in the, oh sorry, in this column, this is the C column, this, this is the change again. So this is the change in concentration. So this is gonna go up by a factor of two X. Now since we have one mole of H2 and one mole of F2, these gonna both go down by a factor of X. So these will be minus X each. Because when we're shifting to the right, reactants would be going down. Now the last, the last column here are the equilibrium concentrations. So to find the equilibrium concentration, we're gonna look at the initial, we're gonna apply a change, and we're gonna write it down here. We're gonna probably be writing down X's in, this, in these rows or these cells. So what's two minus X? Two minus X. Two minus X, 
2 minus x. 2 plus 2x, 2 plus 2x. Okay, now we have these equilibrium concentrations. Now we need to set them up in our k value. So k equals concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. Now what is the k value? k is 115, we already, we already read that in the problem. So k is 115. Now our products at equilibrium are the HFs, and there's two of them. So we would have that concentration squared, and the value is two plus two x. Now in the denominator, we're gonna have the concentration of H2 times the concentration of F2. Now I need us to start visualizing the algebra we're working with here. We're gonna have two minus x times two minus x. Think for a moment what two minus x times two minus x is. So we end up with two minus x squared because we're multiplying this concentration by this concentration, the concentration of the two reactants multiplied together. Now there are two tricks. I'm gonna call them the square root trick or the get rid of x trick. These are the true trick, two tricks we're always gonna use. Now looking at this formula right here, this setup, can we take the square root of a number, the square root of this value and the square root of this value? I would say we could take the square root of all of this. So always start by asking yourself, can we take the square root of everything? And right now it's yes, so we're gonna use the square root trick, not the minus x trick. So when you take the square root of 115, you get about 10.7. When you take the square root of two plus two x, you get squared, you get two plus two x. And when you take the square root of two minus x squared, you get two minus x. Now we gotta work through a little bit of algebra here. So I would multiply both sides by this two minus x. So you would get 21.4 minus 10.7x equal to two plus two x. Now let's get these like terms together. I'm gonna to subtract two from both sides to get 19.4. And I'm gonna add 10.7x to both sides to get 12.7x. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, now, x, you take 19.4 divided by 12.7 and we get 1.5-ish. So this means 1.5 is gonna be plugged into these values for x here. So what's two minus 1.5? About 0 0.50 molar. And I'd probably ask us for right now with everything going on just to kind of forget about sig figs for a second. And we can just say 0.5 molar. So again, X is not the answer to this question. This is just what's, what's changing here. So now in this, in this little cell here, the final concentration of HF at equilibrium is gonna be two plus two X. So two times 1.5 is three plus two is five molar. So these are the answers to the problem. And I just like it when people usually just write these right below these cells. So the equilibrium concentrations of H2 and F2 will both be 0.5 molar. And the equilibrium concentration of the HF would be five molar. Okay, this is our first little video and I'm gonna make two more to go through the second two problems.